The Battle of the Blues. The Bulge, you moron! Scene 1. The Germans assemble. 80 miles from American lines. The Germans are secretly massive. Shh. On December 16, 1944, the Germans reveal their cover and open fire on the American position. Open fire! On December 16th at 5.30 in the morning, the Germans begin their shelling of American lines. <laughs> After using artillery that was ineffective, the Germans decided to use artillery that would actually kill the Americans. Go. Right. The destruction. After the Nazis finished their shelling of the Americans, well, oh, that was Hitler's first flag. The Nazis then moved into Allied territory. Scene three, German penetration. The Germans fired fiercely on the Allies who took heavy casualties. The Americans fought back, and the Germans only took a few casualties. The Germans were able to push through the Allied lines, forcing them to retreat. Allies, retreat! Scene 4. Capturedness. The U.S. 8th Corps had been surrounded by the Nazis and surrendered after taking casualties. We surrender! At Low Shine Gap, 7,000 American soldiers Surrendered after being surrounded and shot at by tanks. And run over by those tanks. <laughs> wow. No. Ew. Splatter. Scene five. Malmody's monkeys. Nobody had nothing to do with monkeys, but monkeys are cool. This was the fuel dump at Malmody. Malmody was a very large fuel dump. <laughs> On the way to Malmody, German Lieutenant Colonel Piper executed 350 American POWs. As you can tell, the Germans weren't very good shots. The Germans advanced towards fuel dump to gather much needed fuel. However, to prevent the Germans from capturing the fuel dump, the Allies lit it on fire. Some Americans burned in the process. Roadblocks of fire also prevented the Germans from taking the fuel dump. Several German tanks were caught on fire when the road was blocked. Bestogny, the city no one can pronounce. The 101st Airborne 
fortified the city of Bastogne in Belgium to protect it against the oncoming German army. The battle for Bastogne had begun. <coughs> the Americans defeated the Germans by firing several 105 millimeter howitzers at them. German tanks suffered heavily. Uh -oh. The Germans came over to the American lines with a white flag asking for their surrender. General McAuliffe responded, Nuts! What if he had said something different? Like, take this back to your commander. Where'd the Germans go? Scene 7. Novel. Let's kill some tanks. The German Panzer Division, led by General Montoffel, attacked the town of Novel. All the tanks were decimated. None came within 200 yards of the American lines. Like we said, utter devastation. Not to neglect the German infantry at Novo, who were decimated as well. Wow. Sometimes the American artillery fell short too. Sometimes Squeak just plain doesn't know how to use a lighter. Boy, this is turning into a regular slaughterhouse. Ow. Scene 8. All done. Cold weather as well as massive casualties caused the Germans to lose precious men and equipment. And that's snow if you can't figure it out. Scene 9. Battle Theory 101. The following has no historical value, but hey, who really cares? We wanted to know what happens when you mix a bunch of plastic Nazis and a large firecracker. Let's find out. That, my friends, was an M80, and that cleared out our Nazis pretty well. The war's over. Allies We'd just like to thank you for watching this lovely video. This is Como and Squeak, signing off.